Hi there. Um, I'm sitting half in, half out of a bay window at my uh, parents' house in the UK. I came over for the weekend from Italy um, to uh, for my brother's 50th birthday. And of course, as is my want, I brought a mini uh, war game, uh, travel war game with me. Uh, well, for me, it's a travel war game. It's a, it's a small war game. And uh, you can't actually see because of the glare of the sun. But I, I, I'm really happy because when I'm filming at home, I'm quite aware that my lighting is not that great and it's going to be lovely here. Um, but why am I filming this? Well, because, um, okay, you know, it might be hard to find gain and so forth, but who knows, someone might have it or, or, or pick it up and wonder if it's any good. And I have to say that I'm really enjoying it. Um, with the uh, caveat that when I started on up to... About turn seven, I, I I rated it on Board Game Geek as a, a five mediocre, and uh, that was really because um, the although the the game actually comes with an errata sheet included, which is great, um, there is still some errata. For instance, um, there's confusion over um, stacking a, a description of units, so. Um, I hope that's in focus. I don't know. You've got um, where have we? We've got uh, that. As I understand, it's a battalion. That's a company, but they're labelled wrongly in the rules. And that stacking, it's important because you've got armoured and artillery. Um, they're labelled contradictorily in rules and incorrectly in the example of play. So it seemed like um, these armour and artillery battalions and these are companies so the question was can you you can stack three companies and one battalion in the same hex or two kind of like these um rvn reinforcement uh, uh, sort of regional groups and battle groups but anyway so i wasn't sure can i have three of those and one of those or three of those and one of those in a hex and now i've resolved it so i'm sure as it is intended to be everything's fine and dandy um, but then there's also some strange things like uh, you've got various charts and tables and uh, for example four so total number of badging units one two three four and four plus so i think what they mean is more than four and uh and they they, they repeat that that's obviously what they mean but it's just you know some things that make you think oh is that right or wrong and then here you've got a breakdown on Oh, yes, sorry, these are the ARV and the light green, the NVA of the North Vien Vietnamese. Um, so NVA, you've got off-board artillery barrage and on-board artillery barrage. And uh, off the, the off-board, it goes 1 to 2, 3 to 4, 5, 6, 7 to 8, and then 9. But the 9 and the 7 to 8 column are exactly the same. So again, you know, it was the intention that there's some difference in here. Hopefully more hits, less disruptions. Or should they actually be all the same? So, um, but everything else is fine. Oh, and some questions about um, you have certain units of the ARVN are unactivated at the start, and they have certain activations. So there's a bit of unclarity there about two of those. So, and then it just felt a bit stodgy. Um, and I think m more it was the annoyance uh, of the setup and the, uh, of those. It, um, confusions and so I wasn't sure if I was playing it right and then when I figured it out um, I f uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely little game and it's quite exciting and I'll tell you why um, so essentially what you have is you have the ARVN they have a set up along the line here and this is forest terrain or jungle that's forest rough very difficult to fight in there is clear terrain and the sort of objective is um, Quan Lock here and then there's Bien Hoa here, and I understand Saigon's that way. And uh, there's um, an airfield there as well. Then there's also a sort of less major objective here, Long Than and Trang Bom. So those are NVA objectives, and they start off off board but coming on this way. And you, they also get a couple of reinforcements, reinforcements on turn three and four, and uh, the game lasts 14 turns. The NVA get victory points for locations, so the most for Quan Lock here, 15, then something like 10, or, or 5 and 5, and then 10 for here, something like that. And um, the other side get, get victory points for um, units destroyed, so for every 
battalion they get two points and every company they get one so at the moment it's there's about parity because um because you know the attackers are incurring more losses than than the margin the defenders the defenders it doesn't matter how many people they lose it's the, the territory the attackers it doesn't it matters how many to lose and they need the territory um is that what's it yeah uh, yeah so I just clarify because I think that's confusing. So the attackers gain victory points for territory and the defenders gain victory points for units lost. So the attackers are trying to not lose too many units and gain territory. And the defenders just have to gain territory and along the way the attackers are going to lose a fair bit of units. They don't, the defenders don't have to sort of do stunning counterattacks. But I'll go into the next bit of it, which is, so what's different about it that I'd recommend it is it's a simple game to play and sort of a mini Jam. I've used that before recently, but um, one thing is that, I um, don't know if you can see this, but I'll explain it anyway, is that the NVA attacks and the ARVN attacks combat results tables are very different, and interestingly, they're differentials, and then you get uh, uh, shifts for armour, leaders, and artillery. Only the ARVN have leaders, and only the NVA have artillery. Um, and then you get a couple of direct modifiers for um, fortresses and terrain. But the point is, is that the MVI, the only results they get are defender retreat, one or two or nothing. So the... M Oops, that's all right. I'm going to have to deal with that. Um, the MVA here, and they... So they will be pushing the enemy back. They can eliminate the enemy by surrounding, so failure to retreat because of zones of control. So that's how... The ARV and the lights of green ones, almost yellowish, are being lost. But basically, um, or they can, they also have the option for close assault. So at the start of their phase, if they're adjacent, they can do these risky attacks. But then the differential is just on number of units. That's very risky. And I've actually lost two. I don't think I had one success. I haven't done many of those. So you're mainly going to be attacking the MVA and the the um, attacks table. The ARVN don't have an assault table. But their results, they have disruptions, they have defend retreat, but they also have exchanges and also quite a few good um, differential uh, defender eliminated. So that, that's how lots of the ARVN get eliminated. And what that represents really nicely is, um, uh, along with one other thing, which is uh, um, the fact that they have an asymmetric um, turn table, meaning uh, what's it, the sequence of play. So um, I think you're all in the shade and can't see anything now, but hopefully you can quickly get a look at this as I explain it. So essentially the NVA go first and then the ARVN. The NVA start with artillery barrage, then they can do that close assault. Then they can move, then they can attack, then they can do another artillery barrage. So artillery can barrage twice a turn. If they do a first barrage, they um, can do, I think they can do a second, but they can't support attack. So you can either barrage before attack, maybe send, and, and with your, you have another combat table for barrage, which is going to be um, uh, disruptions or, or nothing. So you might disrupt your enemy um, as the, the MVA. Uh, and then go into assault and maybe move and attack. Or you could, the artillery could support and then barrage later as well. And then there's a recovery phase from disruptions. Uh, now the ARVN, they have something different. Is they have um, the air forces, so they can do bombing phase. And that is very powerful. It's a bit risky because the units might get aborted. It's only risky in the sense that it's chancy, I should say. It's not actually risky for the air forces. But you can eliminate a whole stack, and stacking is generally, I, I think I've only ever had two in a stack unless there's a leader on the ARVN side. So the ARVN bomb, then they move, then they attack, and then they get another move, and then they get that disruption recovery phase. So what that means in um, Concord with those combat results tables is that the attackers, the ARVN, are trying to break through and surround and all the time pushing the defenders back and the RVN is that have I got the uh, abbreviations correctly there the defenders they are getting pushed back but they can move twice so they can have they can have sort of quick counterattacks because essentially you could um you know take two units out of line one place 
bring them to attack at another place the attack may or may not succeed it might kill disrupt or, or or just retreat the um enemy and then they can whiz back to where they were or they could move to a, a more troubled sector so it's great because as the defender you have a very fluid defense ability of sort of micro counterattacks. not they don't have enough forces for like a major counterattack because they have to maintain some sort of steady line because remember they're defending the territory and um but yeah it, so y you have this sort of continuous push from one side and seeking that flanking so that they can surround and break through which we kind of had here it was blocked off by some activated units and so forth um and and the defender sort of slowly going back but he can quickly have little nips and and bites at, at the enemy and sort of still maintain his line without threatened of just breaking through because of his counterattacks. very nice um where it comes together like that is there any more i can say before I stop, because um, I can't see to press pause in the sunlight. Um, yeah, so I just, um, I, it's it's simple. It's from 1975, Perry Moore, um, by a Swedish game production, which I understand was started by a 14 year old. Good for him. Printed in Hong Kong, I believe. Um, interestingly, and on the uh, Battle of One Lock in the um, Vietnam War. I, if you if you have it or if you sit, I would and you want a little nice little bite, um, uh, a different flavour. These these Fs are for um, yeah. I'll tell you to remind you which ones are fired because you can fire twice, but not in all three phases. Uh, there's a couple of other little sort of chromey things. Good, it's good. I like it. I'm, I'm well glad I got into it. And uh, you know. Uh, I warn you that you might have to break through that a little bit of confusion. I should perhaps post on Board Game Geek my um, conclusions as to the uncovered necessary errata. Um, nice, 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 nice. Uh, so this is blighty at the moment. It's wonderful. Um, yes, this is, I don't know how my parents, they're not going to have a swimming pool. But anyway, um, I don't know what that will become. Defiance, go for it. How do I turn this off?